Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Ole Moa. Today is Thursday, March 1st, and we're here with your daily announcements. The 2022 to 2023 yearbook is on sale for $90, and you can get one by scanning the QR code on screen. Please go to the Med Pathways fundraiser at Sprinkles on Top on Monday, March 6th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Be sure to mention CO's Med Pathway or show them the flyer. Also, if you want a chance to win a $15 gift card of your choice, be sure to take a selfie of you and your Froyo ice cream and send it to the Med Careers Instagram account or email Miss Wilson. Junior Problem is right coming right around the corner, and all tickets are $60 can be bought at the student store. The due date for guest passes is March 3rd, and the last day to buy tickets is March 8th. On March 8th, the sophomore class and CSF will be hosting, a tutoring, will be hosting tutoring sessions in the MP room from 4, 8, <coughs> 3.45 to 5.15. Snacks and refreshments will be, for, will be provided and sold. Now let's see what's new with the news. Good morning, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos, and this is your In the News Update. A 30-foot-long hallway was discovered inside the Great Pyramid of Giza today. This is the first hallway to be found on the structure's north side. It was detected using a scan and was found to be nearly 30 feet by more than 6 feet and is above the main entrance. The hallway's function is currently unknown and it is yet to actually be explored. Tennessee is set to become the first state this year to enact legislation to restrict public drag show performances. The state senate passed a bill on Thursday along party lines to limit adult cabaret performances on public property, threatening violators with a misdemeanor and repeat offenders with a felony. It was passed by the Tennessee House last week and Governor Bill Lee said he will sign it. Lee has been accused of hypocrisy after an unidentified Reddit user posted a photo from a 1977 high school yearbook showing the future governor dressed in female clothing and a wig. The Willow Project is the single largest oil extraction project proposed on federal lands. It would allow for drilling in Alaska and is estimated to add more than 250 million metric tons of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere over the next 30 years. This is equivalent to the emissions of 56 million vehicles over an entire year. This will most definitely affect global warming and efforts to reach emission reduction targets. The Biden administration is set to release a decision on Project Willow in a few days. California Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency on Wednesday evening for 13 counties, including Los Angeles, affected by winter storms that have ushered in unusual snowfall and strong winds, damaging state highways and roads. The other 12 counties under the order are Amador, Kern, Madera, Mariposa, Mano, Nevada, San Bernardino, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Sierra, Sonoma, and Tuare. The order makes it easier to bring in resources from out of state and to hire snow removal teams and equipment. That isn't always easy to access. It will also provide financial resources and reduce bureaucratic red tape that often stalls disaster response at the local level, as well as activate the State National Guard and the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. That's all the news we have for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the Anchors. anchors. Nice new news, guys. Today we have an instrumental concert, and tomorrow we have a vocal concert. For both events, doors open at 6.30 and start at 7. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Malia Moa. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Read Across, Across America, America Day, Wolfpack. Day, Wolfpack.